Hey guys, it's Justin here from Jack Production Studios, and welcome back to another LEGO mock video. This is my video for my LEGO Star Wars Rebels Lothal Highway mock. So, uh, yeah, this was a pretty simple build. One of my smaller mocks as of recently, because I have been going for a bigger scale. But, yeah, this is based off of what we see in Rebels Season 1. It's definitely not the uh, most detailed mock, but it's mostly show accurate. So, yeah, starting off over here, uh, we have... These arches are all throughout the highway. This one is just, a, it's a smaller one, and I decided to uh, throw that on. I did try to incorporate all, the, everything that we see in the highway, so that's why it's a bit crammed. I think these lights are supposed to be more spaced out, and those, I'm not really sure how spaced out those are either, but I think I was able to fit one in. But yeah, so here's the arch. Um, Pretty simple design. I got that there. I did incorporate the uh, two lights that it has, and they are on the other side. And then uh, there are two roads here, and then there's the space in the middle for the lights, and then what what are the heck these are? I'm not sure what those are supposed to be, but I built those. And yeah, so over here we have Ezra. He's uh, being chased by this. That's an Imperial pilot, I believe. So, or uh, yeah, what are they called? Anyway. He's being chased by him, probably trying to lead him out of the area to help out uh, Zeb and Kanan over here. There's nothing on this side of the road over here. And then there's the ghost here, and I believe Sabine's flying this. Yes, she is, and she's taking out those stormtroopers down there to help out Zeb and Kanan. And she's going to pick them up and uh, take them back to the ghost. And as you guys probably already know, so I have these uh, lamps here. I had to point them out earlier. There are, what, eight of them? Pretty simple design, but they're what I think to be show accurate. And yeah, so down here we have um, Zeb and Kanan fighting some stormtroopers. And there's some other ones over there. I'll show you guys uh, this thing in the middle. I'm not sure what the heck that is. And, uh, yeah, I did add one play feature. It is this right here. So from the inside, from that control panel there, the uh, officers could, or the stormtroopers, whoever's over there, can put this down and that'll block off any speeders from uh, getting by in case they you know, need to uh, check some cargo and, yeah. And there's uh, one of these on the other side. And yeah, now onto these buildings that are identical except for uh, the crates that I have inside. Yeah, I'll actually show you guys, since I can't show you guys uh, the front of this one, I'll show you it over here. So that's what the design of that looks like. Pretty simple, and then that's the front as you guys saw over here. Now for the roofs, uh, just a little bit of detailing. This is not based off, this area is not based off the show just because we never actually see any of the checkpoints. Yeah, if I uh, take this off. On the inside here we have one, I believe that's an ATDP pilot working on that computer there, probably trying to contact someone about uh, the rebel attack here. There's some storage crates and yeah, that's really it for this room. And then the other room is the same, except it has a different crate, I believe. I'll remove the uh, roof over here. Yeah, it has just one of those bigger crates based off of, I believe those are the ones from Star Wars Battlefront. And yeah, oh, I uh, messed that up. Hold up, I'm going to fix that. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was uh, definitely fun building something other than a clone base for once. And uh, yeah, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video and stay tuned for more content. See you guys next time. Bye.